So I'm just going to have a bit of a muck about with a GU10 LED bulb. Um, this one's not working, so I've cut the wires that go to the uh, mains uh, constant current supply. Now inside this light there are five LEDs and this bulb is described as a 6 watt so I'm assuming that these are 1 watt LEDs. I'm also going to assume that they're all in series. So I'm just going to hook this uh, array of LEDs up to this power supply and uh, see if we can drive it and get the LEDs to come on. Uh, the power supply is um, it's kind of a bit over the top for this purpose really but it's nice because it's got um, constant voltage and constant current options and I'm going to use the const constant current option uh, on this video. So I've just checked uh, on some eBay listings and I've found out that um, 1 watt LEDs take about 300 milliamps so let's switch on this uh, power unit and um, so I've set the current limit to 250 milliamps so that we're well, this is this is heat sink, so we could go up to the full 300 milliamps. And uh, I've set the voltage currently at, well, it's 9.6 volts. Now, that shouldn't be enough to trigger the LEDs, because we've got uh, five lots of 3.3 volts. They might come on dimly, um, but we'll see what happens when we switch it on. So let's switch on the output. OK, so there's nothing there. So let's now start adjusting the voltage and see if we can get... The LEDs to come on. Get in. Right, so now they're coming on, that's 12.7 volts. They're just starting to come on as you can see. So let's carry on up. Well, that's now pretty bright. So that's 13 volts, uh, 14, 15. That's extremely bright now. And the constant current indicator has come on. So um, we're at 250 milliamps. So if I look at the watt meter reading on the display, I'll just turn it off again. And no, no, I can't do that because then I can't read it. It's uh, 4.3 watts. Uh, so we're just a little under the maximum rating of the LEDs. But the important thing to know when driving LEDs is that you must have a current limit because they can be driven at extremely high currents. They're not inherently limiting like bulbs are. So you must have a current limit. Set that first and then you can pour as much voltage through them as, uh, as you want and get them to light up.